in this video we are going to show you using this massive bitcoin data on why it is still one of the best time to buy bitcoin today this period as well as the whole year we are going to show you that for today's video well stay tuned to know more even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go 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 So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. But yeah, today we are going to talk about a long-term indicator. So, ilang beses ko na actually sinasabi na, di ba, for the whole year na nga actually, sinasabi ko na it's the best time to buy Bitcoin kasi bagsak. Now we are going to add more data points on why we should support that statement. And then kahit papano para sa mga baguang investors and baguang followers natin dito sa video, ipakita natin gamit itong long-term data kung ano ba meron dito sa Bitcoin price action and why it is one of the best time to invest ngayon. So para sa mga hindi pa nakaalam, ilang beses ko na sinasabi yun for the past few months na ngayon, past few, past few weeks na it's the best time to invest kasi bagsak yung crypto market and following the logarithmic growth curve, nabagsak, nabagsak tayo na we are at the lowest point. In fact, if you're going to look at this, Ando na nga tayo sa entry opportunity natin dito with the logarithmic growth curve. Ever since that we entered around, siguro around the month of April or around to the month of May this year, it has been already an entry opportunity for the whole crypto market. Ngayon meron ako gusto sa ipakita niyo sa inyo using the monthly stochastic RSI. If you're going to look at the monthly stochastic RSI dito ni Bitcoin, let's dive in dito. So as you can see, we have seen those multiple times na nagkapitulate si Bitcoin after this massive bull run. Tapos diba yun, no? nagkapitulate siya, same goes din dito, nagkapitulate din, and then same goes din dito, nagkapitulate din pababa. And then if you're going to look at the monthly stochastic RSI, there is one common thing na makikita mo sa almost sa lahat ng ating Bitcoin price action. And that is yung ating stochastic RSI went below the 20 threshold dito sa ating monthly RSI, stochastic RSI to be exact. Nangyari yun noong 2015 as well as noong 2018, nung bumagsak yung ating mga Bitcoin price action na sobrang bagsak na bagsak talaga. And as you can see, after those times na nag-enter tayo sa ganong period na yon, after that brief period noong 2015, you can see na lahat ng mga taon na bumili dito during this area was able to ride this massive movement to the upside dito kay Bitcoin price action. Same goes din dito, lahat yung mga nakapag-enter dyan was able to ride this bullish movement dito kay Bitcoin price action. And then on top of that, as you can see, Doon mo din malalaman kasi na maganda mag-enter eh. Kasi look at that. Confluent yung data niya na bagsak. At the same time na confluent, you can see na yun nga, maganda doon yung opportunity sa stochastic RSI. Nagmamatch din siya sa ating logarithmic growth curve. Kasi look at this. Sa ating logarithmic growth curve, nung bagsak si Bitcoin noon, bagsak din sa stochastic RSI, bagsak ng bagsak noon, that would mean that that is a good buying opportunity. So, lahat ng mga tao na bumili during those area, as you can see, kung titingnan mo kung ilan yung potential gains nila, ang possible na nakuha nilang gains would be around 6,000 or roughly around 5,900% yung kanila nakuha ang gains nung by just buying Bitcoin alone sa spot wallet. Same goes in dito, noong 2015, bumili lang din sila nun sa spot wallet. As you can see, 1,700% yung kanilang potential gain. But right now, ano na ba yung nangyayari dito with the Bitcoin price action ngayon? So as you can see, Bitcoin has now actually entered this area ng ating multi-stochastic RSI na bagsak na bagsak. So, that is actually indicating na it is one of the best time to enter based on historical data. As you can see, this data also takes a lot of month for it to be executed because as you can see, this is in the monthly time frame. So, if you are going to wait for this data to play out, you have to wait so roughly siguro around a whole year para malaman mo kung nag-play out tong analysis na to. So, that is why I am using, that is why I am telling you that, that this is a long-term and massive data analysis that we are going to do kasi yun nga, this is in a bigger time frame. So right now, as you can see, everything is pretty confluent na bagsak yung ating monthly stochastic RSI. Same goes in dito, bagsak sa ating Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve. And as you can see, Bitcoin price action is way below ngayon. And right now, we are still at a very good opportunity. So ilang beses ko na actually sinasabi sa inyo yun na it's a good opportunity to buy Bitcoin. At least kahit pa paano, nag-support pa din tayo ng more and more data Kahit ilang beses natin siya sinasabi for the whole year na it's a good investment opportunity 
It's because of this data na meron tayo. As you can see, nag-start ngayon around ano eh, around February nung bagsak na bagsak talaga. Starting January and February nung 2022, it has already been a good investment opportunity and matagal ko na sinasabi sa inyo, roughly almost 10 months na nga na it's already a good investment opportunity. Now, if we're going to look at this dito, just to add more thoughts, I don't think na nakakita tayo ng market cycle top dito sa ating current cycle kasi as you can see, using our historical data dito with the Bitcoin logarithmic root curve, yung ating pinakang market cycle top was actually this red regression band. So, ayun no, using the historical data points, that was the potential market cycle top na we are going to use as a maximum top. So, using the historical data, kinawalan natin yung average niya, then ginawa natin yung slope, then ginamit na natin yung historical data to plot this projected price action. As you can see, yung ating previous price action ni Bitcoin, it did not went the market cycle top. Instead, what we just seen is it went briefly around the halfway point lang. Similar to what we have seen doon sa ating previous market cycle around the 2014 price action. So, noong 2014, nagkaroon lang tayo ng halfway point na movement tapos bumagsak siya doon sa area na yun. Ang pinakaiba is mas bumagsak siya ngayon. But if you're going to look at this market cycle, this market cycle is somewhat unique kasi as you can see, we saw a lot of mini bull markets along, along the cycle. And nagkakaroon siya ng mini market cycle along the way. So as you can see, I know mini cycle 1. And then uh, there is another mini cycle 2. So I think we are going to see another mini cycle 3 dito that would roughly play around the 180,000 US dollars up until the 300,000 US dollars. So yeah, I think it's going to be this market cycle na magkakaroon ng multiple mini cycle. So within this one market cycle, meron tayong tatlong mini bull market cycle na mangyayari dito. So I think yun yung aking dubious speculation dito. Now, I may be wrong, but at least meron tayong data points na pwede natin i-predict kung ano ba pwede mangyari. And we have been doing that for the past years na, nga, na using the historical data. Yun yung ginagamit natin to predict the Bitcoin price action. So, some data models can be wrong, but at least it can give us an idea on what can we expect for the coming days to come. So, at least may idea tayo ngayon na using the historical Bitcoin data, meron tayong very good investment opportunity, more reasons to buy Bitcoin ngayon, and that's why I've been buying Bitcoin dito sa ating Buy Bitspot Wallet. Meron din tayong copy trade account dito for the short-term traders, but right now, wala tayong matinong trades pa, so we are going to wait out for the very short-term. But for the long-term, if you want to invest dito with Bitcoin, you can do that here with Bybit because as you can see, zero fees tayo on all spot pairs. So make sure to take advantage of that. And also, make sure to use my sign-up link if you, if you want to claim up to 5,000 US dollar bonus and if you want to join with our future raffles with Bybit. Just a quick update with the short term. As you can see sa ating short term price action, we are still inside this falling wedge. So right now, not much to talk about pa din within the Bitcoin price action for the very short term. Wala pa tayong breakout. But yun nga, marami tayong nakikita potential. It's just that hindi pa natin nakikita yung breakout na ating inaabangan. So, for now, abang-abang pa din tayo until makikita tayo ng breakout dito sa ating Bitcoin price action for the daily time frame. But anyway, ayun na muna update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.